welcome to the Spiral Up Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Michelle Weemey, a peak performance coach and business strategist dedicated to helping you see what's possible within you, the blind spots that are holding you back, and the solutions to ensure success and fulfillment without the hustle. I use my secret sauce of metaphysics, brain science, and scripture to work with God to manifest your ideal life and business. If you're ready to create massive forward momentum in your business and bust through the blocks that drag you down, join me on the Spiral Up journey and create the clarity, confidence, and consistency to become the CEO that lives your life by design. It's time to create the sustainable impact, income, and time freedom you desire faster. Now is the time to spiral up. Hey friends, welcome back to the Spiral Up Podcast. I am your host, Dr. Lachelle Weeby, and I am so excited to talk all things manifesting with you today. How great is that? I absolutely love to help people manifest sustainable 10K and beyond months with less burnout, with less overthinking, and I'm going to help you guys to understand the four essential steps that are required in order to truly manifest. All right. So I'm going to guess that if you're listening to this show, you're probably like a lot of people in my circle, including myself that grew up in the church. And sometimes manifesting can kind of spark a little like, I don't know about that word. Right. And so first off, I'm just going to say right now that we are going to welcome God's manifesting in our lives. What that means is that we're just going to allow for the true definition of manifesting to to be our tool to co-create with him, all right? Manifestation means to come to fruition. It means that you can take a theory or a thought and you can see the physical evidence of it. All that is saying is that God wants us to recognize the desires that he has planted in our hearts to better the greater good and allow for that thought, that desire, that theory to be transmuted into the physical world as evidence of him and his existence and the way that we get to co-create with him. I absolutely love this opportunity for us to be able to work with him, right? So so let's stop getting in his way. I absolutely love to, to take this whole manifesting kind of concept and apply it back to one of my favorite movies when my son was little, Finding Nemo. Okay, I'm sure many of you guys have seen it. And I'm just going to take you to the scene where, you know, Dory and Marlon have been swimming through the ocean forever, right? And Dory is trying to keep a good attitude. She's like, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. And it's like, oh, they just keep swimming, right? But they can't, you know, find Nemo. And they come across Crush the Turtle. And in this scene, the Crush the Turtle is like, hey, dudes, like all you need to do is get into the EAC and it'll take you right into Sydney. Basically telling them that if they are able to just swim into this Eastern Australian current, they can get to Sydney way faster without any more effort on their own, that they don't have to just keep swimming and hope that continuing to work harder is going to get them there. They just get to get into the flow and it's going to take them right where they want to go without all the hustle, without all the resistance, without more effort. That is literally what God is asking you to do. He's like, get into my God current. You do not have to do this all on your own. I want to do this with you. And when you can allow for your crush the turtle moment to come in and you're like, oh my gosh, like this is what he's trying to help me with. This is how he's going to get me there faster. This is how he's going to partner with me on this. All of a sudden, everything starts to happen. Doors start to open and you're like, oh my goodness, like this is exactly what this, this is about. And I want you guys to experience flow. I want you to experience what it's like to to literally be watching the unfolding, the synchronicities, the, the manifestation of what you know is possible with God all before your eyes, all right? So there's four steps that are required for us to manifest. The very first one is to keep your vibration in alignment with the life and the the things that you are desiring, okay? So what does that mean? I'm just going to break this down into a little bit of very basic quantum physics, and then we're going to get into kind of how all of that plays out, all right? The very first thing that I want to just mention is that all of us are created with the very, very basic fundamental building blocks of atoms. Every single thing in this entire universe is made up of atoms. Atoms are really just a tiny little nucleus with electrons rotating around it. And it's a basically a collection of atoms that create and make up me, my body, the cell phone that I can hold here, my microphone in front of me. 
it's everything that is in the universe is made up of atoms. And atoms literally have these little electrons that are rotating around it. And depending on how fast those electrons are rotating, we can measure that in frequency or hertz, all right? Now, when those electrons are rotating really, really fast, we see higher vibration. When those electrons are rotating really, really slow, we see lower vibrations, lower hertz. Now, scientists at MIT have been able to measure how fast those electrons in our body are rotating based on what we're feeling. And we feel based on what we're thinking. So if I can control my thoughts to help me feel things that are in alignment with love, joy, peace, gratitude, and freedom, I therefore then can get my body to be in alignment with other things in life that are in consistent range of that frequency. If I am feeling things like hopelessness and despair and shame and guilt, my body is therefore then going to rotate really, really slow and down in those lower vibrations consistent with the things that I maybe don't want in my life. And so for us to be able to manifest, we have to create a vibration that is high enough to be consistently in alignment with the things that we want. And what will happen is as we have our thoughts that create feelings that keep our vibration high, we will start to then be in alignment with things like conversations that come out of nowhere that change everything. The person that we were supposed to meet that changes everything. The idea that just pops in your mind as a download. It's the, the solutions that all of a sudden just appear and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know how I didn't think about this before. The, the material things that are in alignment with that. The job offers the, you know, the the babysitter that that just all of a sudden, you know, was recommended to you. Those are types of things that are in alignment with that vibration. And so, in order for you to be able to manifest, you have to use your thoughts to create feelings that are going to be in consistent vibration of the things that you want. Now, in future episodes, I'm actually going to dive deeper into each one of these four different things that we need. So I'm going to just kind of leave that there for right now. But that is the first number one thing that you need. Okay. Number two, you have to know exactly what it is that you want to manifest. You have to have very clear desire. And this means that you are not wishy-washy, that you're not really vague. And when you get clear, then the universe, therefore, God can create his universal laws to conspire with the things that are in alignment with the vibration that you need, right? And it's going to be consistent with the vision, the clear vision that you have. So I want you to think about it like almost like placing an order at a restaurant. You have to know exactly what you want. You have to know what you don't want. And you have to allow for as much detail as possible to come into play. Uh, my friend Krista uses this analogy and I love it so much that I use it too. So she's like, if you want a steak, do you just say, I want a steak? Or do you tell somebody, I want a steak from this place? I want it cooked this way. I don't want it to include this, right? So it's like we have, you know, gas stations in our area that that have little meat counters. So am I saying to somebody, I want a steak and I just expect them to just like throw me a raw steak from the gas station? Or do I want to go to Ruth's Chris, like one of those high-end steakhouses and I want it, you know, medium rare and I want it to have, you know, um, with a side of baked potato or whatever the case may be. You have to be really, really specific. Now, what people don't realize is that we are always manifesting. We're always manifesting. So the life that you have right now is a product of what you have been manifesting up until now. And so if you have a life of massive burnout, if you have a life of um, you know, poor relationships, if you have a life of, of lack, it has all been consistently in alignment with what you have been manifesting up to this point. And so you have to know what you want. And it's not just the physical things. It's not just money. It has to be the full life. Oftentimes I'll have people come to me and they're like, oh my gosh, Lachelle, like I'm, I'm making sales, but I'm completely burned out. I don't have any friends left. My health has gone to pots. Like I just, this is, this is not the life that I wanted. It's because they weren't clear enough in their manifestation order. They, they didn't know all of the details and they just were getting a manifestation of what they thought they wanted. Right. So you have to be really, really clear on what it is that you want. All right. 
The third step in manifesting requires you to believe without doubt that is on his way to you. It's really just you accepting the promise that God has given you and knowing that he's going to follow through that promise. It is the difference between knowing that God can and knowing that God will. I'm going to say that again. It's the difference between knowing that God can and knowing that God will, will for you right? Believing that it's possible for you, believing that it's on his way for you. And oftentimes what happens is in this step, people get hung up because they've had past experiences that didn't go very well, or they have evidence from people in their lives that things did not go very well. And so it's really, really hard for them to believe without doubt that it's on its way, that you can just have that full on faith, that trust in the promise because you've been disappointed so many times. And so you really must have this unshakable belief that it is on its way to you and that God has promised and will fulfill that promise. And again, I'm going to go into more detail on each of these steps in future episodes. So I got you covered. Now, the very fourth step in this is taking aligned action. It's you acting as if you already know that it's on its way. This is an example, right? Let's just say that you've been praying for rain. And you are, you know, you see to yourself, well, I believe that God, you know, will send us rain. But then I'm going to ask you, have you set out the water buckets? Like, have you taken the aligned action that is consistent with the knowing that it's on its way to you? And if the answer is no, I have not set up my water buckets, then I'm going to say to you that you are not taking aligned action, that there must be part of you that's still doubting that it's on its way to you and it's for you. So we really have to make sure that we are taking the steps necessary, that God moves you know, moves us into action, that we are able to be steered because God steers a moving vessel and into then the actions that are consistent with the life that he wants to be manifested for us, all right? Now, those are the four main steps that are required for you to manifest. So now what I want to do is give you a sneak peek into how I utilize some of those those principles in my life and in my client's life using a very specific technology that I have. And I'm going to just give you this little um, this little heads up that later tonight, I'm actually going to be doing a webinar that's going to go into more detail about this with my partner, neurosurgeon, Dr. Darlene Lobel. She and I are going to be talking all about the magic mindset and how we utilize energy frequencies to help us to get into the manifesting mode, to be able to have massive mindset shifts so that we can help ourselves and our clients. And so I'm going to kind of go into that a little bit with you here. Okay. So remember that I said that the very first step in manifesting is to be in high vibration. Now, when we consider that our thoughts are what create our feelings and our feelings are what indicate the vibration that our body is in, we really have to acknowledge that the things that are influencing our thoughts and are influencing the energy and influence the vibrations of ourselves and our body need to be accounted for and they need to be controlled in the best way possible in order for us to stay in this higher vibration. And so one of the tools that I have is something called the CEPI or Subtle Energy Frequency Imprinter inside of a software that I use from the the Solex company. And what I do is I've actually have a menu that I get to choose from that allows for me to pick what vibration I want my body to be vibrating at. And then just like a menu, when I click this and I allow for that subtle energy to be imprinted through resonant energy, it actually influences the vibration of my body and the cells within my body. So if I understand the steps to manifesting and I understand that I need to be at a higher vibration in order for this to be utilized and executed properly, I can actually set on this menu for my my body to start to vibrate at a frequency that's consistent with wealth, success, prosperity, with love, with forgiveness, with gratitude, with success. Um, I, I can use it to help myself kind of reach those higher vibrational points so that I can be consistent with the things using the law of attraction. All right. 
I absolutely love this technology because sometimes things are just, you know, off and I'm having an off day. And so not only do I get a chance to use this for myself, I can teach my clients that if you are having an off day, you can use this to pinpoint the exact frequencies that you need to adjust in order for your body to shift. And it allows you to bring yourself back to this vibrational plane and therefore then in the vibrational um, frequency match of the things that you want. Now, oftentimes we can get really caught up into being hyper-focused on our problems or the things that aren't going right or trying to solve something. And we are just realigning ourselves with that frequency. But what this does, it allows us without having to have more thought around it to bring ourselves out of the vibrational match of the problem and into the vibrational match of the solution. It's so freaking amazing. Now, scientists, just like I said in MIT, have been able to measure based on our feelings, the exact frequency or how fast those electrons are rotating in our body based on our feelings. They've also, scientists over the years, have been able to, to measure what the exact frequency is, for example, in the wealth frequency or in success frequency or prosperity or success or love or gratitude. They can measure that. And when we use something like resonance energy, it can allow for the match to be ha happen within our body. So I'm going to give you an example on this. Um, I have some videos inside of the Quantum Leap Facebook group if you are interested in, in kind of seeing this visually. So if I have a tuning fork in one hand and I have one in the other hand and I bang one on the table, the other tuning fork in the other hand that I'd never touched the table with is going to start to vibrate and make the same noise as the one that I did because of resonance energy. That's how this technology works. And so it's so amazing that I can overcome my human limitations with a little bit of help with technology to keep my vibrations where I want it to be. Okay. The second way that I utilize this technology is to help me to create this massive belief that it is possible for me. This is the, the knowing, right? That it's not just good, that God can, that God will. And I do that through utilizing this technology to help me to overcome some of my subconscious flex. Now, one of the ways that it does that is it could actually take a 10 second snapshot of my voice and it can run it through this giant algorithm and tell me the three emotions that I'm currently overexpressing and I'm out of range with, and the one that I've been repressing or shoving down for greater than two years. Now, these emotional and energetic blocks are preventing me from being able to fully believe without doubt that it's on its way. And then when I know what these blocks are, it gives me a prescription of music to listen to and color to surround myself with that is going to balance out those out of range emotions, those out of range, you know, energy blocks. And I'm then able to slowly get myself to a point where my past failures, my by past insecurities, my, my past, you know, um, evidence that this isn't going to work is slowly neutralized to a point where I can now fully believe that it is possible and that God is indeed promising this beautiful manifestation to come to fruition for me. All right. So it's, it's so powerful. So if I'm doing that for myself, why wouldn't I allow for my clients to have access to the exact same technology? And I allow my clients to then run their 10 second voice through this and it gives them their out of range emotions and it gives them their prescription music and color so that therefore they can start to dissolve these subconscious energy and mindset blocks that have been basically stuck inside of their mind, preventing them from, from seeing the, the things to come to fruition. And then the other thing that I can do with this technology utilizes brain science and quantum physics. And one of the things that I have my clients do just in in overall, you know, neuroscience coaching is affirmations, right? Like, okay, now I just have to tell myself that I am a, you know, multi-million dollar business owner, or I am loved, or I am accepted, right? And many of you guys have probably tried affirmations or mantras of some sort, and they're like, yeah, it doesn't really work. I totally get it because what happens is, is that our conscious and subconscious barrier will oftentimes block 
that affirmation from getting down into the layers of our subconscious so that that new thought can be the thing running on autopilot versus the self-sabotaging negative self-talk, right? So what this technology does is it allows for, as I listen to my affirmations, it gets my brain in the theta brainwave, which then therefore allows it to bypass that conscious barrier. It allows it to bypass the part of my brain that says, that's crap. I don't own a million dollar business. That's crap. I'm not worthy. That's crap. That's not going to happen. It doesn't allow for that BS monitor to, to block essentially that new affirmation. And as myself and my clients listen to our new prescribed affirmations using this technology, it gets us into theta brainwave and allows for that affirmation to actually soak into the subconscious, forming those new neural pathways. It's so unbelievably incredible. All right. Now, I mentioned already that the fourth step to manifesting about involves us being able to take aligned action to get into action. Now, how many of you, just like me, have allowed for ourselves to maybe succumb to not feeling well. So therefore I don't want to work my business. So my health is impacted. My energy is impacted. My motivation's impacted. My belief is impacted. All of those things. I can use the prescription music and I can use those, those subtle energy imprinting frequencies to dial in things like creativity, focus, determination, um, success, resolve, things that are going to help me to put my body and my mind into a vibrational match for massive productivity, for massive creativity, for motivation, for energy, so that I can take you know, a typical work hour and I can become three times as productive because my body and my mind is in alignment with the very best productivity that it can be. And I get more done in less time. It's unbelievable. So now I'm getting into action, into aligned, inspired action, utilizing energy frequency in order to get me to do that. So if you have been ever part of the, you know, I don't feel well, or I, you know, just don't feel like it, this can absolutely be a game changer for you. Now, I'm going to just bring this back into the context of, you know, I don't feel like it is if you you haven't been feeling well. I have some clients who suffer from, let's say, migraines or fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue or, you know, they just always like they get sick, you know, with a new cold or allergies like every couple of weeks. That can absolutely impact my motivation to work. And I'm guessing it does theirs, too. When we know that emotions are 85 percent or more the cause of physical ailments, when we listen to this music and when we allow for the balancing of those emotions to take place, it actually can shift the health of the different processes inside of the rest of our body. In addition, they have those subtle energy imprinting frequencies that allow for us to match the vibrational alignment with health, with immune function, with, with you know, pain-free, with things that are what we want our body to feel and experience versus what it is experiencing. So I have people who have had chronic fatigue or chronic pain have massive success with just these energy shifting that allows for them to get into work, that allows for them to be more productive and allows for them, therefore, to fulfill that fourth level of the manifesting equation. So Anyway, I just needed to make sure that I shared with you guys the four main things that you need to manifest and some really simple tools that I use and I help my clients use to keep ourselves in alignment with those four things that we can, in fact, manifest sustainable 10K and beyond months with way more ease, way more flow, way more fun instead of overthinking and chronic burnout, right? I don't know about you guys, but like that's what I wanted and I was seeking all ways that I could utilize brain science and quantum physics and scripture to become the solution. And oh my gosh, oh my God, goodness, this is definitely like 100% part of that equation. So if you guys are interested in learning more and hearing what Dr. Darlene and I have to say about this, tune into the webinar that we will be hosting. And I am going to go back and make sure that the replay link for this webinar 
is included in the show notes so that after the fact, you guys will have an easy way to find it. But if you want to tune in live tonight, this is airing, um, there's this episode here, this podcast episode is airing on November 6th of 2024. This evening, we're going to be doing this webinar. So if you want to join us live and you're listening to this episode right hot off the press, I want to make sure that you get a hold of me in my DMs and I will get you the link. All right. You can follow me on social for all the details as well. So I hope that this helped you guys. I can't wait to dive in in more detail to each of the four components of the manifesting equation so that we can start getting you into co-creating with God and showing yourself and the people that you love what's possible when you lean into him and get into the God current, get into your, your EAC with him and allow for amazing things to happen. All right. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Thanks so much for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe and leave a review. Each honest review helps me spiral up so that I can serve you even better. Whether you're feeling a lack of impact, income, or time freedom, or perhaps you're just ready for massive momentum in your business, let's chat. Apply for a breakthrough call so that you can gain clarity, identify what's holding you back, and make a plan to spiral up. Head on over to im-lifebydesign.com backslash breakthrough or access the link in the show notes. For immediate support, log into our community, The Better Club. We focus on inspiration, tactical guidance, and support. This is a community that wants to be better, do better, and have better in life and in business, and we're going to help you do the same. Let's spiral up, friends.